Welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast, another quick hitter edition. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Uh, today, I want to give some updates on the uh, murder investigation into the uh, Montreal Mafia leader, Francesco uh, Chit Del Basso's gangland slain back in June. Um, we have some information that's come in. Uh, shout out to Paul Cherry and... Uh, uh, the National Post and, and what they've done in some of their reporting, but it, it's come out now that Chit Del Basso was on his way to meet the Hells Angels uh, at the Monster Gym in West Island, uh, part of Montreal, the afternoon that he was killed in June 2023. We had been reporting here at Original Gangsters Podcast, as well as at the Gangster Report, that Chit Del Basso's Palace Coup Earlier this year, we tried to take out, uh, allegedly tried to take out uh, Rizzuto crime family godfather, Leonardo Rizzuto, uh, was a power play backed by the Hells Angels. We know that uh, the Hells Angels motorcycle club has been deeply interwoven into the history of the Montreal Mafia, dating back to the 70s and 80s. Vito Rizzuto, Leonardo's uh, father, cemented a lot of those ties you know, even further during his reign. And, you know, what we heard initially was that the Hells Angels were back in Chet Del Basso's play when it fell flat and Rizzuto avoided assassination in that uh, highway shooting uh, back in March. We've had two guys arrested in that. Uh, and we now believe that the Hells Angels who had backed that play were now trying to make amends with the Rizzutos, uh, and it seems like killed Chip Del Basso um, as a way to make things copacetic again, um, that they made a mistake. We've heard that the order might have came in from across the border in America, that the bosses uh, in New York and, and out in California were upset with the optics, uh, how it looked that uh, the Hells Angels looked to be supporting a uh, an attempt to an insurgents, an attempt to oust the Rizzutos finally from the throne after, you know, a dozen years of warfare over in Canada, uh, attacking the Rizzuto crime family. But it's now come out conclusively that Chet Del Basso, who had been really laying low um, in the aftermath of that failed assassination attempt on, on Leo Rizzuto um, and would only have come out and, and got out into the open to be murdered. Uh, he, he would have only trusted a very few people at this point. And it seems like one of those people was a hell's angel that, that drew him out into the open and he was killed in the parking lot of the monster gym, uh, going to meet a member of the hell's angels. And this, fur this further, I think, shows us this nexus point between bikers and, and mobsters uh, where they can, you know, benefit from each other. Uh, and, and then there's always this, kind of changing loyalties. This is happening in real time. It looked like Chet Del Basso had, had gotten the angels and, and particularly Marty Robert, who's the kind of the on the marquee right now for the Montreal Hells Angels. He's the guy that seems to have the most power over there. And he, he knew a lot of the attendants. He knew Chet Del Basso. And it seems like he, he wanted to, uh, again, we don't know this for sure, but it, it seems like Marty Robert was um, at the forefront of, of the decision making. I think on possibly on both fronts. We don't know. I'm just what I'm hearing from, from my sources in law enforcement over there. I know that Marty Robert and the Hells Angels are under investigation for other things, and this could possibly play into that investigation. Um, uh, we could have dovetailing investigations. So I just wanted to report that, you know, we now know uh, it's not just speculation that the Hells Angels played a role in this. It seems like the investigators, the uh, the, the, the RCMP seems to have now nailed down the fact that Del Basso was going to meet the Hells Angels the afternoon he was killed in June 2023. We'll keep you updated. I uh, just wanted to drop that in there. And uh, I'll see you next week. Uh, Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. Mm -hmm.